What's up you guys? Welcome to another day of 31 days of Halloween. Today's makeup look I am pretty excited about. We are going to be doing Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul, one of my favorite anime characters. Now this look isn't really a makeup tutorial, but it is a good cosplay. And I'm going to explain how to do the wigs and where I got the mouthpiece and just kind of the whole nine yards, you know? So it's going to be real quick. The first step, of course, you need the sclera lens that is the most iconic part of Kaneki's whole shebang. So I'm going to be putting in that sclera lens right now. Boom! <laughs> so we put the sclera lens in. If you've never worn sclera lenses before, let me just tell you a bit about them. This is a very large 22 millimeter sclera lens, which covers the entire white of the eye. It does feel like there is something actually on your eye pressing it. Not meant for long periods of time, obviously. But anyway, back to Kaneki, let's get to the tutorial. All right, now like I said earlier, the cosplay is very, very simple. The biggest part is the wig and the mask, which I found on Amazon. Really the only makeup that you need to do is to make the eyebrow look like it came out of the animation and also we're going to darken up the eye that has the contact lens in. An optional makeup thing that you can do here is sketch in those fine detail lines that come out of the eye like in the animation series. But like I said, that is totally up to you. Once we have darkened up the eye as much as we need, we are going to slip on the mask. It has fasteners in the back and the eye patch comes separate as well so just fasten that in the back of your head and throw on the wig to style the wig I would recommend doing that off of your head I tried doing it off of my head and once I put the wig actually onto my head it was still much longer than I needed it to be so I would first style it with this goopy cream from Redkin I just rub a bit of that between my hands and start to create the sharp points in the hair that a lot of anime characters have. I also am using a hair straightener to give this some sort of level and dimension to the wig, and I am also using some scissors to cut in some layers into the wig. This I definitely recommend doing off of your head, but whatever, I'm living on the edge. You could honestly play with the wig all night long, but once it is styled in a way that you would like, throw on your coolest black jacket, get into character, paint your nails black, and you are ready to go. Wow! Alright you guys, this is the finished Kaneki look from Tokyo Ghoul. If you're totally into it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Let me know what other types of looks you would like to see down below in the comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.